couldn't pull the trigger. Warren looking to clear it, the physical four into center for the Amherst. And Seth Afford squad off and running here tonight in game one. Gabriel Carlson he feels the heat, turned it over. Matt with a huge hit on Warren. That's going to draw a crowd and a penalty. Olaszewski comes over and a pile up in the Bears defensive zone. I think we might get a couple penalties here from referee Carter Sandlack. As McElrath threw the hit, the arm went up as the Amherst immediately came to the aid of their teammate. And that's the rivalry renewed relatively quickly as we get a second look on the hit. You could see the timing as McElrath could not get to the puck first. Warren gets there and then he takes a big hit into the boards, probably just too much space in between. And immediately the arm went up and there's Dylan. The guys are talking right now about it. Olaszewski and McElrath both sent to the sin bin. The initial penalty on McElrath for the hit. Olaszewski came in to help his teammate out. And the officials are going to get together here. Again, the referees, Stephen Hemp, number 56, Carter Sandlack, number 47, Brandon Grillo, number 79, and Dan Kelly, number 98 on the lines. All both officials and one line's been chatting in the referees' crease to get the penalty calls here and see if we're even or if the Amherst get a power play. Well, McElrath is one of those consummate captains. Guy's a Calder Cup champ. He's been through it before with Coach Nelson. And he knows how to set the tone for a series, Zach, and he knows this thing's going to, you know, play out over a long series. Talked about the difference between the best of five and a best of seven. You feel each other out, and really the better team is going to come out in the end when you have this expanded format in a longer series. It'll be four on four. Both players assessed a penalty. McElrath for the initial hit. Olaszewski for the retaliation. So some open.